My name is Angela Martinelli. I'm in the casino industry. I work around table games. Well, it's fun and games all day long. It's like where Pinocchio went when he cut school. I like the fact that most days are different. You get to talk to different people. You get to meet different people. Sometimes it's like a big party every day. The biggest drawback in my business is the smoking, secondhand smoke, dealing with it. I've gotten a lung condition. My doctor said it, it could have come from being around secondhand cigarette smoke all the time. I mean, I used to work down in this place called The Dungeon. So they actually had a rack, just like a Wawa of cigarettes for the high rollers. And when they finish smoking one pack, they throw them another. And I sat in a big puff of smoke all day long. I had to get this, cons this um, I'm sure everybody's seen them before. It's a concentrator. I use it not on the tables because they're cigarettes. And you have to be like, let's say social distancing <laughs> away, six feet away from any lit flame. So I use them when I walk because we have extended walking areas. It, to, for me to get to one place or the other, I have to walk and by the time I get there, I can't breathe. It seems like casino employees health doesn't seem to matter. Well, no, I'm, for, I'm living proof that it doesn't. They don't care. My name is Pete Lamont. Nicole. I've been dealing in Atlantic City casinos since 1999. 1985. 1996. That's 25 years. 22 years. 36 years of secondhand smoke. The CDC warns that even brief exposure to secondhand smoke can have immediate adverse effects. I worry about that every day because I have kids, you know. I, I, who knows what it's done to my lungs? Who knows what it's done? I've never smoked a cigarette in my entire life, and I never will, but I can't imagine what my lungs actually look like. I'm almost scared to find out because it's so hard to deal with smoke in your face when everyone else in the state doesn't have to deal with it, right? The, the law protects everyone else but us. The New Jersey Smoke-Free Air Act was signed into law in 2006, banning smoking in indoor public spaces and workplaces. You must act now to protect the lives of all New Jersey workers, including those who make their living in bars, restaurants, and casinos. Casinos were ultimately left out of the bill. Nobody's looking out for us. In 2018, casino workers were left out of another attempt at smoke-free legislation. Yeah, when they banned the smoking on the beaches and in the public parks, I thought to myself, why did you not think of us first? How can you ban it outside? Are our lives not worth more than a seagull's life? As part of COVID-19 guidelines, New Jersey's governor took action to temporarily ban smoking in casinos in 2020. We have looked closely at the science and agree with the experts who have concluded that allowing smoking is too big a risk. I loved working in COVID protocols. I love that. Wearing a mask is fine for me. The no smoking, the shields, I felt protected. When they brought the smoke back on the 4th of July, it was almost like a personal kick in the teeth. Advocates are now pushing the state legislature for action on S-1878, a bill to ban smoking in casinos in New Jersey. This is me in 1984 in blackjack school. And, and I've been dealing ever since 1985, passing Bill S-1878 would change my life because it will be a joy to come to work. It will make, it will make the worst part of my job gone. The casino industry continues to resist going smoke-free, touting protections like air filtration systems. We're sitting three feet from someone who's blowing smoke in our face. We can't turn around. We can't move. We can't leave. I mean, there's no ventilation system. There's nothing in the world that can stop anything like that. We are the ventilation system. The smoke goes through us and then up into the air. The American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers even warned the Casino Association of New Jersey as much. There is no currently available or reasonably anticipated ventilation or air cleaning system that can adequately control or significantly reduce the health risk of ETS to an acceptable level. These are the guys that build the filtration systems. Casinos have also cited their bottom line as a reason to resist going smoke-free. But profits in the first quarter of 2021, when smoking was banned in Atlantic City casinos, was 11% higher than it was in the first quarter of 2019. If the casino says they're gonna make a couple extra dollars by having smoking, okay, if that's true, is that worth my life? S-1878 and its companion bill in the assembly were introduced in 2020. No action has been taken on either bill. It's not if this is gonna happen, it's when it's gonna happen. Why not sooner than later? 
Why not save lives now while we can? Get the cigarettes out of the casino completely before someone really gets hurt. I mean, I have been, you know, but it could be worse and it can get worse. I just want the government to see us as human beings that want to see our kids grow up. You, you protect everybody else in this state. What is wrong with my life? Why is my life not worth being protected? Why?